is now a retelling of the anime more than a married couple, but not lovers, enjoy the movie. Akari Watanabe and Jiro Yakuin, both third-year high school students, find themselves paired randomly for their school's couples training program. This unique course assesses and judges students based on how effectively they collaborate as mock newlyweds. Learning that the top 10, A rank, couples with the highest scores have the opportunity to switch partners, Akari and Jiro reluctantly agree to set aside their differences. Their aim is to accumulate enough points to exchange partners with their respective crushes, Minami Tenjin, a popular school idol, and Shirori Sakurazaka, Jiro's childhood friend. Adding an extra layer of complexity, Minami and Shirori are paired together. Despite their initial reservations and the challenge of overcoming their vastly different personalities, including a surprising kiss, the duo's score fails to improve. However, the intimate moments lead to a Akari and Jiro experiencing unfamiliar emotions towards each other, prompting them to question the nature of their feelings. Akari wakes Jiro in an attempt to earn points by watching scary movies together and donning matching pajamas. Their plans take an unexpected turn when a sudden power outage locks them out of their respective rooms due to electronic locks being activated. They end up falling asleep together on the couch, comforted by the glow of a flameless aromatherapy candle. Back at school, the duo eagerly awaits the release of their scores and is surprised to discover that they've reached a beer rank. However, their shock intensifies when they learn that Shirori and Minami, initially considered an ideal couple, rank among the lowest scoring pairs. Jiro, unfortunately, catches a cold, and in an unexpected twist, Shirori arrives to care for him. As Jiro rests, he encourages Shirori to focus on improving their performance in the marriage practical. Shirori, on the verge of a significant moment, refrains from kissing him. A flashback unveils Jiro's past intention to confess to Shirori during middle school, a plan halted when Shirori accidentally placed him in the friend zone. That night, as Akari returns home, Jiro recovers from his illness. The revelation surfaces that Akari orchestrated Shiori's visit, and Jiro expresses gratitude by pledging to assist Akari in getting closer to Minami. However, instead of joy, Akari's reaction appears to be a mix of sadness and annoyance at Jiro's words. With Jiro's assistance, Akari prepares a bento for Minami, intending to deliver it personally as a means of getting closer to him. Misjudging Minami's taste preferences, Akari excludes sweet foods from the bento, believing him to dislike them. However, Shirori unexpectedly drops by, presenting leftover apple pie she made for Minami, revealing his fondness for sweets. Faced with the realization of her mistake and fueled by insecurity, a saddened Akari attempts to seduce Jiro. He intervenes, reminding her that she has Minami, leaving Akari feeling defeated and shattered. She suggests they stop acting like a married couple, leading to a plummet in their practical score to Irank while Shirori and Minami's score improves to A rank. Shirori urges Jiro to mend things with his practice wife. Jiro confesses to Akari that he genuinely enjoys their shared activities and feels a need to protect her, clarifying that he declined her advances to prevent any potential regret. He apologizes to her, asking Akari to be his wife once again. Touched by his sincerity, Akari accepts the apology, addresses him by his first name for the first time, and confesses that she likes him. As everything returns to normal, Jiro feels a sense of relief, while Akari is shocked at herself for admitting her feelings for Jiro. Akari and Jiro catch wind of a rumor suggesting that Shirori and Manami are growing romantically closer since they are the only A-ranked pair yet to switch partners. After gym class, Akari encounters Minami, who confirms he won't switch as long as Shirori is comfortable with it. Overwhelmed, Akari tears up, prompting Minami to notice and gently hold her face, asking her to meet his gaze. Unbeknownst to them, Sadaharo spots the moment, and from his perspective, it appears as though they are kissing. Meanwhile, Shirori informs Jiro that she and Minami will remain together, dropping a hint that if Jiro were to reach a rank, they might become partners. Before Sadaharo can spill the beans about what he saw, Minami and Akari arrive, disrupting the conversation. Akari, feeling overwhelmed, feigns sickness and decides to skip school that day. Taking advantage of her absence, Sadaharo informs Jiro about the possibly intimate moment he witnessed. However, Jiro claims to be unfazed. When Jiro returns home, he informs Akari about what he heard, suggesting that Minami and she had a special moment. In response, Akari laughs, clarifying that Minami was merely helping her remove dust from her eyes. Realizing she has made no progress with Minami, Akari breaks down and pleads with Jiro to look away. Unsure of how to react, Jiro comforts her by embracing her while averting his gaze. Touched by this gesture, Akari continues to cry in Jiro's arms. Later that day, Akari questions Jiro about whether he truly believed she had kissed Minami. To his surprise, Akari reveals that he was the first and only person she has ever kissed. Jiro discovers that he will be partnered with Shirori for class duties, presenting an opportunity to grow closer to her. May Hamano, Shiori's best friend, willingly gives up her place for Shirori. Shirori comes close to mustering the courage to kiss Jiro but hesitates. Later that night, 
Akari asks Jiro to call her by her given name, but he hesitates. Akari points out the unfairness, stating that it seems like their love is one-sided if she's the only one using his given name. A surprise testing period is announced by the school to assess the academic performance of each couple. Although Akari initially plans to skip studying to go out with friends, Jiro convinces her to study together. Grateful for Jiro's tutoring, grateful for Jiro's help, Akari playfully teases him and begins to flirt with him. Jiro's nose is bleeding from excitement. Akari explains that her teasing is a way to help him relax as he's pushing himself too hard to keep up with Shirori. Jiro expresses his desire for Akari to be with Manami as well, explaining that by helping her academically, he feels he contributes to the group's efforts. Akari seems saddened by Jiro's words, realizing that if they switch partners, they will revert to being just classmates. Akari reverts to calling Jiro by his surname, causing Jiro to worry about a decline in the intimacy of their relationship. Sadaharu and Jiro witness Mei rejecting a girl after a confession. Mei, while apologizing and consoling the girl, is requested to call her by her given name. Excitedly, Akari informs Jiro that they have reached A rank in the latest report and playfully dries his hair. Recalling Mei's interaction with the girl, Jiro starts calling Akari by her first name, much to her delight. Mei expresses disappointment in Shirori for making no progress with Jiro. Shirori is not done conscious by a stray soccer ball and is Sent to the infirmary. Mei informs Jiro about Shiori's condition and urges him to visit her. In the infirmary, Shirori awkwardly requests a practice kiss, but their attempt is interrupted by Sachi entering the room. As Shirori and Jiro hide, they accidentally kiss, and Jiro leaves in embarrassment. Meanwhile, Akari, trying to contact Jiro via text message, becomes depressed, thinking that Jiro has started a relationship with Shirori. Late in the evening, Akari finds Jiro passed out on the sofa after consuming chocolate laced with alcohol. Realizing Jiro had been waiting for her to share the chocolate, Akari, feeling guilty, sleeps next to him in her underwear pleading with the unconscious Jiro to wait until they are no longer together before he starts being with Shirori. The next morning, Jiro is shocked to discover a partially dressed Akari next to him. Unable to recall the previous night, Akari took the opportunity to make Jiro believe that they were in love. Observing Jiro and Shiori's awkward expressions at school, Sachi and Natsumi approach Akari to discuss her marriage practical with Jiro. Akari expresses confusion about feeling like a third wheel between Minami, Shirori, and Jiro. Sachi and Natsumi encourage her to have confidence and not lose hope, assuring her that she has a chance with whoever she wants to be with, and they will support her decision. To boost her spirits, they invite Akari to join them at the local fireworks festival with some friends, including Minami. Excitedly, Akari asks Jiro to help her with her yukata for the festival. While debating which not to use for her obi belt, Akari wants to ensure it suits Minami's taste. Meeting up with Sachi and Natsumi at the festival, Akari discovers that Minami couldn't make it due to work. As the night progresses, she notices Minami and Shirori together in the festival grounds. Believing they are on a date, a distressed Akari heads home. Alone on the balcony, Jiro prepares to watch the fireworks when Akari calls him, sobbing. He rushes out to find her already at their front door, and he consoles her as she cries loudly in his arms. They watch the fireworks together from their balcony, and Akari asks Jiro to redo her obi in his preferred knot. Sharing an intimate embrace, both ponder the future of their relationship. Jiro and Akari's ranking in the marriage practical falls to 13th position, meaning they have to stay together for another month. Akari interrupts Jiro during his bath, panicking over a spider. Unable to spot it again, a distressed Akari flirtatiously asks Jiro to stay with her just in case the spider reappears, even going so far as to request his company to the toilet. While discussing the possibility of dating under different circumstances, the tiny spider returns, startling Akari, who inadvertently gropes an embarrassed Jiro. Jiro suggests getting bug spray for next time, but Akari refuses, stating she prefers being rescued by her husband. As they settle in bed, Akari affectionately touches the wall separating them. Shirori confides in Minami about her kiss with Jiro and expresses fear about confessing her true feelings. Minami encourages her to have confidence and confess before it's too late. Mei echoes the same sentiment in class the next day. Shu Terafun, Mei's marriage practical partner, informs her that he won't be home for dinner, as he has a job interview at the cafe where Minami works and plans to go out with Minami and his boss, Sadaharu's older brother, Afterward, Shu suggests that Mei and Shirori spend the night together, but Mei backs out at the last minute, disappointing Shirori. Jiro and Sadaharu share dinner together, and Sadaharu expresses jealousy, attempting to kiss Jiro to cancel out his luck-based lechery. As Jiro tries to stop him, Shirori passes by their restaurant, seemingly observing them. Jiro rushes out to explain the situation, and Shirori, thinking he's talking about their infirmary kiss, misunderstands. Despite the awkwardness, they apologize and explain the situation as they walk home together. Sadaharu invites Jiro to join a live-in summer job at his older brother's beach cafe. Initially hesitant, Jiro changes his mind upon learning that Shirori and Mei have also applied for the same job. Returning home, he finds Akari excitedly showcasing her new bikini for a beach part-time job. Jiro expresses discomfort, deeming it too revealing. Akari playfully teases him, 
acting like a real couple, and informs him that she'll wear a different swimsuit. Despite Jiro's reservations and Akari's flirtation, he reveals his summer job plans, only to discover that Akari, Natsumi, and Sachi have also applied. They are welcomed by Sadaharu's brother, along with Manami and Terafune. Manami shows them their accommodations, and the group begins their training. Lacking confidence in customer interaction, Jiro opts for kitchen duties, prompting Shirori to join him, along with Mei and Sadaharu. Meanwhile, Akari, Sachi, and Natsumi receive training in customer service from Manami and Terafune. Akari is thrilled to work with Manami, while Sachi and Natsumi playfully tease the infatuated Terafune. During work, Mei tries to bring Shirori closer to Jiro by involving Sadaharu in moving boxes outside. While practicing making drinks, Jiro accidentally sprays whipped cream on Shiori's face, leading to unintentional flirtatious touches as they clean up. Natsumi and Sachi accidentally witness the intimate moment, embarrassing both Jiro and Shirori. After training, the group enjoys time at the beach, with Sadaharu making lecherous comments about the girl's swimsuits. Oblivious, Shirori suggests that she, Mei, Sadaharu, and Jiro go to a nearby hotel together. Mei, Shirori, Sadaharu, and Jiro work on building a sandcastle near the beach hotel, disappointing Jiro as Sadaharu indulges in his lecherous tendencies. Unconsciously teasing Jiro, Shirori touches his hand while making a tunnel underneath the sandcastle. Jiro and Akari are assigned to fetch lunch from a nearby store. Two men approach Akari, and although initially unsure how to respond, Jiro gathers the courage to declare that they are married. After the encounter, Jiro awkwardly apologizes to Akari, who chastises him for ruining what could have been a chivalrous moment. Later, Akari approaches Jiro after the bath, offering to apply cream for his sunburn. Jiro, feeling uneasy, easy, cautions Akari about the potential misunderstandings from others. Disgruntled, Akari walks away, texting Jiro to meet her at the beach shack in 10 minutes. At the shack, Jiro apologizes to Akari, but she rebukes him for apologizing without reason. Akari vents her frustration, expressing how Jiro's self-deprecating attitude and perceived indifference make her feel bad despite her excitement to be with him. As they talk, they overhear Shirori and Mei approaching, prompting Jiro and Akari to hide in play fight, scaring Shirori and Mei away. Jiro then succumbs to a mild heatstroke. Upon recovery, they reconcile, and Akari suggests making more efforts to get to know each other. While Jiro and Shirori had trouble sleeping after their respective night encounters, their coy morning encounters eventually cheered them. During work, Shirori tells Jiro about her scary encounter at the beach shack and feels nonplussed on how she will be at the Test of Courage event later that night. She unwittingly mentions to Jiro that she will be okay if they are paired together, resulting in an awkward moment as she walks out to take out the trash. An eavesdropping Sadaharu then mischievously tells Jiro that he will help them get paired. Considerately, Jiro then asks Sadaharu to help Akari pair up with Minami. With Mei's help, the plan works and the respective pairings are realized. Jiro and Shirori feel awkward while Akari is ecstatic. However, as the event goes on, Akari feels a bit confused about her feelings for Minami. She was about to check on the others using phone chat but then found out she has lost her phone. The other pairs finish their event first, as Jiro and Shirori fail to make any progress due to Shiori's constant panicking during the event. However, they start becoming concerned as Akari and Minami have still not come back. Minami then calls and said that while they're looking for Akari's phone, they got separated. It started to rain and Jiro is bewildered with worry, despite everyone's assurance otherwise. He decides to look for Akari in the rain. Meanwhile, Akari is in squatting alone in despair. Suddenly, she blurted Jiro's name in reflex as Minami found her. Meanwhile, Jiro found Akari's phone as Shirori came running to him with umbrellas. Akari embarrassingly tried to explain to a teasing Minami about her feelings for him and Jiro. Minami tells her that he knew for a while that Akari has a crush on him. However, he politely rejects her saying he is in love with someone else. Akari thought that it was Shirori. However, Minami corrects her and says that it is a girl he knew from his past. While feeling a bit sad that Akari has moved on to Jiro, Akari assures him that her love for him was real and Minami wishes that it will work out between them. Meanwhile, Shirori similarly straightens the confusion about her and Minami to Jiro. The topic of their kiss comes up again and they confide about how confused and bewildered their feelings are especially since the marriage practical started. Shirori sadly tells him about how lonely she feels and fears that being childhood friends won't keep them together anymore, especially now with Akari in the picture. As they embrace in the rain, they consensually share a deep kiss. The trio of Akari, Shirori, and Jiro grapple with their complex emotions, each seeking clarity in their own way. Akari turns to divine intervention, visiting a shrine to pray. Meanwhile, Shirori and Jiro are privately bewildered by the implications of their latest kiss. In an attempt to clear his mind, Jiro goes shopping for snacks and manga, only to unexpectedly encounter Shirori in the shop. Awkwardly agreeing to visit Shiori's place, they continue their confusing conversation about their recent beach trip and take a photo together when a rainbow appears. After returning home, Jiro receives a text from Akari, 
expressing boredom and a desire for a date in two hours. Despite his hesitation, Jiro agrees. As they embark on their date, Jiro remains awkward and confused, slightly annoying Akari. They visit a coffee shop, a cat cafe, go shopping, and play games at the arcade. The discussion about exchanging photos leads to Jiro's embarrassment when he notices a picture resembling a couple with a cat baby. However, Akari appears unfazed, giving Jiro the impression that she genuinely enjoys their time together. As the date concludes, Akari realizes she forgot to buy a charm and rushes to a nearby shrine, with Jiro following. Coincidentally, they encounter Shirori returning from shopping, and she asks to join Akari at the shrine. Racing together, they witness various couples and families, including a loving elderly couple with a husband named Jiro. At the shrine, they each pay their respects, and Jiro realizes the shrine is known for fulfilling romantic wishes. The episode concludes with Jiro and Akari continuing their marriage, ranked fourth in the latest report, while Shirori and Minami hold the third spot. The expression more than spouses but not lovers usually describes a relationship that goes beyond the traditional boundaries of friendship but does not develop into a romantic or sexual relationship. Such relationships are characterized by emotional closeness, companionship, and a deep understanding of each other, similar to a romantic partnership but without the romantic component. Such relationships may involve a strong bond, mutual support, and a level of commitment reminiscent of a romantic relationship, but without the romantic or physical aspects. People in such relationships may share their lives, dreams, and problems, acting as confidants and sources of support for each other. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel because it is very important for the development of the channel. Yeah!